All right. So here is the thought that I had. Basically, I collect illustrated children's books from the, eh, let me get to the big screen here first. Boom, there we go. Basically, I collect vintage illustrated children's books from like the 50s through the 90s. And one of the reasons I do so is because the artwork on them is really cool and I enjoy the artwork. And I'm an artist, I'm a webcomic artist. And I like to get them for the artwork themselves to learn how to draw, to learn about the artist, to kind of study their style. So I thought one of the things that I would do today is that I would just uh, kind of, I have a couple of books that I've been wanting to just kind of sketch out some ideas from. So I'm going to go through a few of those today and just do some live drawing, just live sketches, nothing fancy, but I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. I wanted to do a live drawing video and I wanted to add another video for my uh, shopping stuff here, shopping stuff. Anyway, if you click on, uh, let me put this link. Ooh, geez, that's the wrong link. Uh, I want to put a link to my store in the comments here so you can check that out. These are all, this is where all the books and everything that I have, like I said, I have hundreds, thousands, billions. No, I don't really, but I have this. So if you go to the link that's in the comments or if you click on the shopping tag icon, you can check out all the books that I have for sale. It should open up in a new window. I don't know because I'm the one that's doing the video. So you tell me, let me know in the comments if it is, I don't know. But what I'm going to do now is the first book I'm going to draw. I'm going to switch screens here to go to my live drawing screen. Pa pow And this thing is a Yogi Bear book from when the hell is this from? This book is from 1963. So I am going to draw this cover. So first I gotta set up my, I'm gonna set up a new thing. I'm using a uh, free soft uh, drawing software, GIMP. It's basically the open source version of, I wanna say drawing, that's not right. Open, it, it's like an open source sort of version of, uh, Photoshop. God, I couldn't think of the name of Photoshop for a second there. So let me make sure that I have, you know what? I'm going to, so I created a square thing here because I think I might want to put it on Instagram when I'm done. So I'm going to take little sections, zoom in and draw that way. So let's see. I don't know if anybody here is viewing in the chat or if anybody has any questions, but I'm going to start drawing this particular right here, this book that I have that's in my collection. So if you go to, if you click the shopping tag, you can check out all these books that I have. But right now, I'm just gonna be drawing this one. I'm gonna be looking here. So I don't know what you're gonna see. So I just kinda wanna draw this guy's head. So I'm gonna start with, oof, that went splendid right away. So let's see, I'm gonna do his little, boy, I tested this out earlier and for some reason now I'm not doing well. So. I'm gonna do the top hat first. And the main thing I wanna to do too is I like the expression and everything that they do on their faces. So as I draw this, I'm gonna do his long nose. I kinda of like the expressions. And this is all like, I'm not doing any, I'm gonna do this all freehand right out of the gate. I'm not going to do any like layering or anything like that. And it's just going to be line art. So that's what I'll do and draw on this thing here. And occasionally I'm going to check back and see if anybody has any comments or not. I don't know. I'm drawing. Leave me alone here. No, let's see what's up. All right. So I got that. There's his eyes. I got the mouth. Now I want to do the mouth. That's what I'll do. So we got that. Many as is from. This is what I like is I like the way that they did the chin like that. So he's got his little side face there. And then you can see that I can make the rest of the face come around that way. Without his hair, he kind of just looks like an old man. Although I guess he is an old man. But it just looks like a meh. Oh, you know what he looks like? He looks like the uncle on Hey Arnold. If you remember that, I don't remember what his name was. Or was it the grandpa? Who knows? So now I'm doing the hair. Oops, that's too much. Get rid of that. I don't like those two right there. I'm actually going to draw the hand up here too. Eh, maybe I'm going to color this in. I made the hat too small, first of all. 
is what I'm realizing. But whatever. Like I said, I'm just sketching. This isn't this isn't anything perfect. And the beauty of me collecting these books, what I love about it is I can kind of just goof around and um, I do them so imperfectly that by the time I'm done, I can just go, yeah, I drew that. You know, I can mess with it myself. I'm actually in the middle of working on a video right now that's based on a old ghost story comic book. And I just kind of borrowed some of the some of the characters, figures, and storylines and redid it from there. I figure they did the storyboarding for me. Um, I like it when they put the fingernails. I think that's funny when they put the fingernails on the drawings. But, you know, whatever. That's me. And let's give him a big collar. And he's got his ear. I know I got the hand, like, totally up in a different area. But, like I said, I'm just free. I want to say free balling it, but that's not right. Free handing it. Free handing it. That even sounds just as bad. Free handing. <laughs> right? All right. Now I got to do the second thing here. Look at that. I like his hair. It makes it, it's like racing stripes on the side of his head. It's like he's tearing ass around the drawing, but he's standing still. Anyway, points for anyone who knows what quote I just took that from. Or I could just tell you. Anyway, these books and everything, I have these. This is one book that's been in my collection for a while. And I think the artist, who's the artist in this one? His name is Mel Crawford. And he did all kinds of stuff like this. Stuff like this. He did all kinds of children's books. I have actually not drawn and spoken at the same time in forever. So this is weird. I feel like half the things I'm saying don't make sense. Now let's do the other arm up here. And he's holding on to his cane, right? Yeah, I don't like the way I did that. I'm going to redo it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's why. Because the thumb is by itself. And then, of course, the fingernail again, because I love that. And then he's got his cane. Meh! Cane. Ooh, let's make it a candy cane, because it's Christmas. Meh. Um, no, just kidding. Although maybe I will now that I said it, because I think that would be funny. Oi. No. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh, well. I'll just redraw it. I always forget what the actual control for redo is. So I'll just redraw it. Because I think it's, it's either Y or X. No, X is cut. So it must be Y, because control Z is undo. All right, there's this cane. That's not where that cane goes. Got to line it up at the very least. There we go. All right, I'm going to make it a candy cane. Ha, huh. let's do it. Let's do it. That also seemed weird to say. Do it. Oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. What's that from? Is that Beastie Boys? I think it is. And then I'm going to add the other finger down there. Finger. <laughs> it's like, and he sucked it all out <laughs> with his finger. Hey, that's another one if you know the reference. It's a one-time Super Bowl ad for Miller Beer that aired. And it was about a farmer that was abducted by aliens. And I think it only ran once, and I still, I thought it was so funny, and also I think I had it on VHS, but I thought it was so funny that I memorized the whole thing. And one of the things that he says on it is, he goes, and they sucked it all out with their fingers. Anyway, that's that. Okay. Oh, I made him a little fatter than he should be. You know what? Again, don't care. This isn't perfect. Oh, and then I draw a line like that. There we go. And then I'm going to give him the little legs there. He's leaning to the side because he's got his swagger on. And then he's got his boots. Yep. Ah. Let me do it this way. I'm going to do the middle first so I don't have to line it up. And then do that. There we go. And then I'm going to do this one first so I don't have to do that. Boom. There. 
And that is my version of what that guy looks like. And since I did that all zoomed in, it's only in part of the picture. So let's, whoa, hey, that was not, let's go zoom in again. Wow, I made that super small. All right, so it's in one corner. Actually, I wanted to add another thing here just for fun. I'm gonna create a new layer. I don't know if you can see that because I know it's cropped off to the side, but I'm gonna create a new layer that is, let's see, transparency layer, okay. And that layer, I'm gonna set the mode to multiply. So what that means is now on this new layer, let me go back to the zoom in here. That layer I can color on and just for fun, I wanna do just kind of some stylistic sort of sponge work on it, sponge work square pants. And let's see what color is this dude uh, okay. Meh. Yeah. No, I'm just going to use some random colors. So I'm going to open up the color dialog here. Uh, again, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to make them pink. Or as John Cougar Mellencamp said, paint the mother pink. I love that I'm using all kinds of references that nobody knows. But, you know, whatever. Get your own live stream. So here is, I'm going to pick one of the sponge brushes. Oh, didn't like that. That was too big. That's chalk, by the way. It wasn't a sponge. And then that one's too big, too. Let me get the size down. So I'm going to color him that way. And then color that. And then I'm going to... So I'm going to start with that sort of stuff. And then I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do... So these are... On my website, which is TomRaysWebsite.com, where I do web comics and I have a podcast and all that kind of stuff, our color theme is black, pink, and white. So I am going to do his skin that color, and then I am going to do black for the cape and everything. So I'll follow suit on that. So I did those first and now I'm gonna and I want this to just kind of loosely be drawn I don't care if it looks neat or not and I'm gonna draw that way and just kind of make it fill out again see I'm doing that thing where I'm like I'm drawing and talking And what I can do, oh, I want to do that a little bit more too. So I still want to fill it out, but I want the edges to be shaded. Now, since the background is white, I can actually take the eraser tool if I can find it. There it is. Whoop. There it is. And keep some of that stuff, clean it up, maybe in areas where I think it was a little too smudged, smudgy, right? There you go. And his tie is white, so I'm gonna do that. And now, I wanna make the candy cane. I'm making this all up as I go along. I really have no <laughs> rhyme or reason behind why I'm doing it this way whatsoever, but I'm just free handing it. Again, that sounds weird. Free hand in it. And now I'm gonna make the candy cane because I decided for no reason whatsoever that it should have a candy cane. Boo, Christmas. Yeah. And let's see here. That brush is too big. Oops. Hey, stop. Hammer time. Um, that might be too big. No, that'll be fine. So there's his candy cane. You know, now he doesn't look as much like a magician as I made him look like Mr. Scrooge. So let's see. Why is my hand falling asleep? Holy crap. All right. So there's that. Now, somehow I popped the I popped the menu option out of the ugh, I did this before and I couldn't get the stupid thing to go back in. So now I have a free floating tool option. Oi. Why for you happen that? Lock to dock. Nope. Didn't do it. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'll just Keep it as is. 
There we go. Back. Okay. Where was I? Am I even on the screen here? Ooh, yeah. Hey there. Um, all right, so that's that. Oh, funny. I didn't realize that it was showing up as purple. I had it as pink. Let me fix that. I'm going to go to the settings here. That's hilarious. All right, settings. Um, nope, not that one. This one, properties. Pow, there we go, okay. Wait, that's not the right screen. Oi. All kinds of user error going on here. There we go. Sheesh. All right, so that's that drawing right there. I'm gonna zoom out of that one after all that stuff. I like how I didn't even check to see what my stupid screen looked like before I started. You know why? Because it took me forever to get started. So I'm gonna zoom out of this 50%. There's that one. All right. I actually don't like that layer. I'm going to turn it off. So we're going to go back to that. Just line art. Heck with it. I don't like the color anymore. When I zoomed out, it looked ugly. So now let's see. What's the next book I'm going to do? The next one I'll do is, oh, okay. So switch back here for a second. Uh, this one, the Goofy Tiger Hunt book. So again, these are all, if you click on the link in my, I have a link posted in the comments and all that kind of stuff where I sell blah, 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 all that stuff. Books, vintage books that I collect. And one of the reasons I do them is because I love drawing the artwork on them. So the next one I'm going to do is I want to draw this lion on the cover of this Walt Disney's Goofy and the Tiger Hunt. And that book is from, when's this book from? Is from 19... 54, 1954. So this book's from 1954 and I'm going to draw this one. Did I switch this yet? Yes, I did. All right. So let's go back to my drawing screen. Pow. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom into a section here and draw the lion. So we're going to go for the lion. And again, this is all just free handing. I want to say free balling, but that's wrong. I mean, it's not wrong to say it, but it's the improper term. But handling seems weird as well. Free handing, free handling, the handling guide. So that's that. And then um, I actually don't, hey, if anybody's watching this, I don't know if anybody's even watching. Uh, let me know in the chat down below. I'm actually going to scroll through and see if I'm even showing up on Facebook Live. Nope, doesn't look like it. Tons of makeup other kinds of stuff there, but not me. So nobody's watching this. That's fun. Look at that. Necklaces, tiny little doll clothes. I'm not even on here. Well, that sucks. Oh, well, nobody's seeing it. Anyway, just had a nice little conversation with myself. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep drawing. Something, something, something. You just keep on dancing. Who is that? I don't know who that is. All right, next one. Where was I? Okay, I'm going to draw this lion. I wanted to draw this lion. So I'm looking at the book here. And let's see. I'm going to draw the eyes first. I want to draw, well, don't want to draw the head. No, I'm going to draw the eyes first. I don't know how I want to approach this. That's the thing. Oof, that sucked. Right out of the gate, that sucked. So let's do that. Actually, they could arch up just a little bit more. I'm going to have him arching his eyebrow like that. Then he's got his eyes. And we're going to do the nose. Like that. And I feel like I could even pull this out a little bit more. Like I got it zoomed in almost too much. So there's his eyes. There's his other eye. I'm going to have the little, do my own stylistic thing there with his reflection. Boy, I don't know what I think of this one yet. So I'm going to give him that. And again, these are all loosely based. They're not going to be exact. I don't want them to be exact. This is just me kind of messing around with different styles. And the reason I do them, oof, 
boy. The reason I do them is because it forces me to draw things that I normally wouldn't have thought of myself. And that's why I like doing them. That's why I like collecting these books. But I also sell them so other people can have them because I think they're neat. Plus, once I'm done with it, I don't need it no more. And I think that other people would enjoy these. This kind of looks like the lion in, not Ricochet Rabbit, um, Crusader Rabbit a little bit. All right. I don't know why I started that mouth all the way up there. And I'm going to throw the tongue around there. Whoa! Oh, that's not how that works. Nah, I can do that one more better. One more better. Is that the word? Is that right? Right? Okay. And then we got some whiskers or whiskers. Yeah, I didn't like that either. And then maybe some stripes. Yipes, stripes, fruit stripe gum. Oh, I'm not liking these stripes. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to at least make them more stripey right now. It just makes it look like he has huge laugh lines. What you laughing about, Willis? Nothing. And then there's the head. Also, the other thing, too, is I normally do this on a tablet, and I was trying to hook it up to draw on here. Oh, why am I holding my hand up? Um, I was trying to hook it up on here, but I couldn't. So I'm using my Wacom, which I haven't used in forever. And it's not attached. Like it's down on the table in front of me while I look at the screen. So I'm going to color that in by hand. I think I'm having three different conversations at the same time. There's that. Ooh. And I got to put his stripes on top. Yo, where was I? And then was I even, what was I? I meant to do literally getting distracted by myself. I do. The more I'm looking at this, I actually think this looks more like what the original drawing was than the last one I did. So I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Oh, I'm right at the edge. I guess I didn't realize that. And I'm going to do the whiskers. No, that's not the whiskers. What's that? The mane? Plus, this is a tiger, so that's not a mane. And then the bottom for his eaten teeth. Oh, yeah, he does have one little tooth sticking out. I like that. And then the lip. And... He's got his paw up, not his maw, but his paw. Ha! Puns. This is just the noise I made. And one more, because he's going, look at that cute little goofy. I'm going to eat him. All right. And then, yeah, why is the... Let's see, I must have changed the size of the ink. I thought this looked a lot thicker than the last one. And now that I'm coming by the last one next to this, I'm like, yeah, that's that's a thicker one. Um, All right, I'm about done with this. I still want to... Oh, yeah, because he's behind a thingamajobby here. So we're just going to... We're just going to cut it out at that. Now, here's... That was a sentence I just said. Here's the thing. Yeah, they're two different sizes. Why is that? So here's what I want to do. See if I can't shrink that one down. Maybe. And again, all of these. Whoa. Yowza. All of these. That's not even. Deselect none. I'm not going to shrink it down. All of these things are just me freehanding. I like to. I like old books and I cannot lie. <laughs> anyway, this is just me messing around with an experiment. I just wanted to try drawing some stuff. I like to collect these and copy the artwork from them and just kind of get different techniques of drawing styles down. Um, I meant to switch back to my screen here. There we go. So that's the type of stuff that I do in this with my uh, with these books that I collect. 
from the 50s through the 90s. I have a bunch of old books. These two that I went through today are also in my store. If you click on the link that is in this video somewhere, I got the link posted, uh, pasted, pasted. I've pasted the link all over the place. But I just kind of wanted to try out my live drawing setup. And I thought at the same time, why not go over some of the books that I collect? And I have all kinds of old artwork like this. And it's kind of fun. I wanted to do a color uh, one on the way that they do the coloring in these because I think that's really cool too. But I want to study that a bit more. I just kind of wanted to do some freehand drawing. That was it. Um, I don't know if anybody saw this whatsoever. I don't even know if it projected. So if you did see it, Thanks. All right, I'm going to take off. Uh, don't forget to go to TomRay'sWebsite.com. I do my webcomic. I have an artist podcast, and there's a link to my eBay store that has all this stuff in there. So go check it out, all that type of stuff, TomRay'sWebsite.com. One more time, TomRay'sWebsite.com. Yeah. All right, I'm going to stop.